So why am I going to teach you gun to your head money making tactics? Because you don't want to be broke. The whole world is broke and a lot of people deserve it based off of their work ethic. And you don't want to be slothful because it'll make you poor. That's what the Bible says. And before you get offended, remember that God is my lawyer. So this ain't hate speech. This is great speech. Ecclesiastes 9 and 10 says, whatsoever thy hand find it to do, do it with all thy might. For there is no work. There is no device, there is no knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave where you're going to go. So one day you're going to be dead, okay? You don't want to be on your, your deathbed talking about, dang, I wish I did this. I wish I went harder. I wish I wasn't just hanging out with my friends all the time. I wish I wasn't a bum. I wish I wasn't just sitting all up under my girl's butt, okay? So you're going to have a lot of regrets if you don't go hard right now. You don't know what God has in store for you. You could be crippled tomorrow. You can be a mute. You could be deaf. You can have some type of disability. So you want to set up some type of legacy right now. And that's going to take a lot of work and faith, faith and works and everything like that. But the scripture says that you're supposed to, commanded to, leave an inheritance for your children's children. So all this YOLO, my life, oh, you only got one life to live, crap is a sin, dude. You're supposed to be setting up so that your children do not have to fill out a damn job application or work for your oppressor the same way that you had to. OK, so you have to go all in. You have to do it with all your might. So we're going to get a couple more scriptures proving this, that if you're lazy, you're going to go broke. OK, so let's get. Colossians 3 and 23 says the same thing as a precept. Whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord, not unto men. Remember, it says not to men for a reason, because a lot of men is going to tell you you've done enough. You've achieved enough, but you're supposed to be a beacon. You're commanded to be a beacon, a representative of God. The God he owns the kingdom and heaven and everything. So it's supposed to be an abundance for everybody. So if you're not creating something that can help a lot of people in mass, then you have no reason to be taken off or going on vacation or nothing. You're supposed to be diligent. A slack hand makes you hungry and poor, but a diligent hand makes you fat or meaning rich, okay? So you definitely don't want to take no time off. So when I say gun to your head, money making. What am I talking about? You're supposed to always be working, but even if you're not working personally, you're supposed to be setting up virtual assistants. You're supposed to be hiring people that can do the things that you don't feel like or don't want to do. And your mind is supposed to always be coming up with more business ideas, stuff like joint ventures, mergers, partnerships, affiliates, and all of those different networks and connections that can grow you bigger and bigger and faster and faster, build a snowball uh, that can one day turn into an avalanche to where none of your adversaries can stop you, okay? So this is what you want to do. Gun, to gun to your head marketing. So you should be doing email marketing. You should be doing text SMS marketing. You should be doing Facebook marketing. You should have Google ads up. You should be doing uh, SEO campaigns. You should be uh, uh, doing interviews and podcasts with everybody. You should be everywhere. That's gun to you. Gun to your head money making. That makes it literally impossible for you to be broke. 